clip, we're going to talk about optimal alignment of the hip joint. This is the femur head, the thigh bone's called the femur, and it's got this nice round head that's meant to live in this nice cup-shaped hip socket. Now, what tends to happen is that we'll move the femur head forward. When we squeeze our butts, we push the groins forward, the femur heads forward. And when we do that, the front edge of the femur head will rub against this front edge of the hip socket when we move. And that will de degenerate the front of the femur head and the front edge of the hip socket. While behind the back of the femur head and the back of the hip socket, they have no pressure at all. Too much pressure in the front, no pressure in the back, and that's a sign of misalignment. There's, there's uh, something called joint congruency, which means that the, when the joints move, their articular surfaces, they will rub against each other with a nice even pressure. That is, there's not too much pressure on one part and zero pressure on another part. So for the hip joint, this means that we learn to keep these femur heads, the top of the thigh bone, moving to the back plane of the body. So generally, it means we need to stick our butts out more and not harden in the groin. This is the groin area, and we tend to shove, again, the top of the thigh bones forward and harden the groin. So the thing you can look for in your yoga asana, but also in the way that you move through life, is that you keep the head of the thigh bone back and the groin soft, and in that way you know you're moving towards greater joint congruency or optimal alignment in the hip joint. And we wanna to learn to move that way, so we keep those joints pain-free, injury-free for as long as possible. Thanks for tuning in.